Thanks for staying with us. Now, morality, that's principles concerning the distinction between right and wrong or good and bad behavior. Distinctions between right and wrong has always been a debate, as far as I know, because a parent that sends off their daughter to go sell their body in exchange for money to cater to family needs will not define their actions as bad. And this has been an age-old practice amongst many other things like paying teachers to ensure that their children get distinctions or not questioning the young boys where they're getting money to send home. Now, social media, on the other hand, has only helped us to bring some of these things like fraud, selling drugs, ritual killings, red light district transactions, you know, buying academic results to our faces. And we hear people say, our standards have dropped. Our question is, was there really any bar in the first place? What standards did we drop? Have our morals been completely eroded or it was non-existence? That is our question. Now, please let us hear what you have to say. Remember, you can join this conversation. Tweet at us at WaysShowAfrica1 with the hashtag WaysShow or send us an SMS or WhatsApp to 81 803 So I'm going to bring in our guest like in a minute or two, but I just want to quickly hear um, Lamy and um, Tammy. Did we ever have morals, you know, because now you just hear people, oh, back in the day, back in the day, ha, th times have changed. I feel personally that what has happened is because the world is global now and everything is in your face, social media is enhancing a lot of things. We're just seeing things that have always been there. But, you know, because there was nothing to project them, we couldn't see that they were happening. But they've always been there. But let me hear your thoughts, Lamy and, um, and Tammy. Let me come to you, Lamy, first. On the subject of morality... Now, let me come to Tammy, rather. On the subject of morality, what's your take on the subject of morality? Has it always been there or truly our standards have, have dropped? Mm. So, Ua, I mean, this is not based on any research or from my own personal observation. Um, I think that there have, certain, there have always been certain things that were there, certain um, acts. I mean, I'm not just even talking about a few years ago, even before the Bible days. There have been certain things, you know, BC, um, before Christ, there have been a lot of things that we see, you know, in, when we read through. And these things have always been there. But the challenge I see now is that some of them are being more pronounced. And then some of these things, you know, uh, there's much more influence. And so perhaps I think it's actually increasing. I don't think it's the same as it has always been. I think it's increasing with um, morality changing, with people's standards changing, because change is imminent, right? So um, I think there's a somewhat, somewhat some change, some increase or decline in morality, as it were. But there have, there have been some evil and some, you know, some of these things that we see now. Some of them have always been there. Thank you. Because me, I know that they've always been there. It's just that now, because of social media, everybody seems like, oh, this thing is not there's You know, there's that saying that says there's nothing new under the sun. Some of these things, they've always been there. You know, because now, um, why we're having this conversation is, is looking like, you know, anywhere you turn to right now, people are just losing it. You know, it seems like nobody's, if everybody's throwing caution to the wind. But I'm saying that, I mean, what is happening is that the social media is just helping you to reveal what has always been there. That's how I see life. But I don't know if Lamy is there now. So let me take Lamy. Yes, thank you, Ua. Um, I think I quite disagree that it's always been there. To, uh, to, the, to a reasonable extent, I would say it was there, but not on this scale. Hmm. I think the influence of science and technology, which is directly social media, the influence of media, the conservative media, materialism, um, decline in parental authority and um, domestic value has really, really uh, encouraged this um, decadence. So I, I, I won't say it's always been there. At a point, and I will say that that cliche, back in the days, Uwa, it was not this brazen. People have gotten really, really Reason. And in any sane society, there has to be a clear demarcation between what is acceptable and what is not acceptable. But I think um, at this time, this it's it's glory. Huh. There's no clear <clears throat> clear demarcation. People are just you know people are the, the lack of indiscipline. Sorry, the lack of discipline is so overwhelming. Hmm. You know, children don't longer listen to their parents. They abuse, 
you know, elders with no fear of repercussion, even in schools, teachers are scared to reprimand pupils because of the kind of parents we have now. Parents are becoming very over, you know, overprotective of their children. And what I've also realized is when we were growing up, we were scared, not scared, we respected, on, to a large extent, feared our parents. Ah, but I think it's now the me. Let me see. Okay, so maybe I'm just in my head alone thinking, but I'm telling you that these things, you know, it, it's, would you call it, you know what, I'm not the, this, let me bring in our guest because for me, I, I can't see that there's anything new and I cannot see that it is much more now than it was before because I know a lot of people that they call themselves old money and all of that. A lot of them started off in drugs you know, drug peddling, um, peddling drugs. Some of them, it was fraud. So all these things that we're seeing, right, it's just a circle. It's not like it's not, it's always been there. The only thing that I think has well, enhanced it is social media. But let me bring in our guest. Scale. Let me bring in our guest. So Norma Ifana is an image consultant and grooming consultant who uses her inside-out transformational experience and expertise in areas of appearance, behavior, and communication to help individuals and corporate clients find their unique expression through grooming for proper conduct and excellent character formation with a, with a critical commitment to use their human essence and dignity to not only accomplish personal aspirations and dreams, but to secure the same for others. Her mantra is, see, believe, and become. All right, thank you, Norma Fanga. She's joined me live in studio, so I'm not alone again. <laughs> thank you so much for joining us, Norma Fanga. Thank you so much for having me. All right, so you heard our little banter on this mm. conversation, right? You are someone that is very, very, very um, out there, you know, trying to help people become better human beings and all of that. And I, when we were going to talk about this topic, I thought of no better guest than to bring you to the studio to talk to us about this. You know, so now the question is morality. Have we really lowered our bars? My opinion is, I don't think there were, there were any standard, um, standards before. I, that's how I see it. Maybe people should help me, you know, but that's how I see it. I feel that social media just helped to make it look like, oh, it's all over the place. But it has always been all over the place. But because there was no social media, it seemed like, oh, it was just under, under the radar. But now, social media is telling you that this is the reality of who we are as a people. So um, let me say no, she disagrees. But let me hear your thoughts, you know, on you know, like your general thought on it. Well, <laughs> <laughs> this topic is something that is very, very controversial. But it's interesting that we're talking about it today. Evil has always been from the beginning of time, right? It's always been, I don't want to go to the story of how it came about, but evil has always been there. Corruption has always been there. It's age old. However, there were also morals. There was right and wrong. And it was clear that this was right to do loving others, being considerate, respecting people, hard work, things like that have always been there. But there, of course, like I said, evil has also been there. So there have been people who have not wanted to go through the right way. Mm. They've also attempted to exploit other avenues that are not acceptable. And what are morals, really? Like you rightly said when you were talking earlier, morals are codes of conduct, let me put it that way. There are things that tell us that this thing is either right or it's wrong to do. And how do we judge that? I would usually say that if I, I normally when I have conversations with people and they're talking, oh, this is this, this is that. The next question I'm going to ask is, if this happened to you, how are you going to, how are you going to relate to the situation and then you see some people go calm or so i'm not quick to judge however you want to ask questions about morals you want to ask people in your heart of heart when you sit when no one is around and you ask yourself was this the right or the best possible thing to do you and yourself will tell yourself the truth. Mm. So a lot of people, can, you can deceive everybody else, but you can't deceive yourself. Mm. And for those who believe in a higher, uh, or, or someone who they 
you know, account to a higher standard, you cannot deceive your higher standard as well. Mm. You can't deceive God. So at the end of the day, it's not about being judgmental. It's not about trying to, to label people. It's about you understanding that if this happened to me, if, the, if I was on the flip side, how would I feel? Handle this. It's all about consideration mm. when I think about morals. So you are thinking right now that we, the, the bars, um, if I hear you correctly, we have lowered the bars. The morals were there. Over well, time. Let me, let me come over to, time. Over time, yes. Let, let me come to Lamy. <laughs> yeah, I'll come to Tammy. Tammy, are you there? Let me come to Tammy. Yes, I am. Yes, I am. Although I'm, I'm somewhat struggling to hear. Okay, go ahead, please. Can she hear me? Today we're having tr trouble with our... Okay, so I have heard from Noma, and I, I, um, I like how she is able to help us see this. Thanks for coming. So I'll just ask you that um, when we talk about morals, particularly with respect to children now, whose responsibility is it to um, guide? Now, I know we would probably say just the family or something, but I, I was listening to a conversation sometime where a particular um, popular person put out something and people went to the person to say, it was on social media, and people went to the person to say that, oh, you shouldn't have put that out because we're so model to children, mm. blah, blah, you know, something of that sort. And the person said, why are be a role model to your children? I don't have a responsibility to be a role model to your own children. You should model your own children. Mm -hmm. So do you still see that the society has any responsibility to mentor, be a role model to children today? Or is it solely the responsibility of families? I don't know if you got that yet. I, <laughs> I think yeah. I, I can <laughs> understand. Thank you, uh, Tammy. Um, we grew up with certain um, adages where they said it takes a community it takes a village or a village mm -hmm. to raise a child right and also when we were growing up you would find people you see a child who is strained or just out by a certain period of time and they say is this not this person's daughter or son what are you doing outside inside quickly or I call your mother right now, or I go to your house to, or they sometimes they, they drag, drag you <laughs> to your house to say, I found this young man. Mm. There was a sense of collectiveness. There was a sense of belonging as a community to look out for one another. Mm -hmm. However, over time, like I said, again, over time, standards began to change based on people's interpretation so some people who were raised in that kind of very strict or in a strict environment mm. suddenly realized that they, the, the, the feelings that they got from such training was not pleasurable. Mm. So in order to um, make up for what they seemingly lost, they said, okay, I'm not going to I'm allow my child it. to go, go through, through this. It. But in the process, they overdid it. And now we have a crop of children. Take, for example, when we were growing up, there was, I mean, I grew up in a community, let me put it that way. I grew up in a large family. So it, I remember taking after, there was something that we used to do, you obey the last command, and then you are the next in command mm -hmm. when the next person is not available. Mm -hmm. So that was how we grew up. And we learned how to do so many things. No wonder I look at my siblings today and it's like we're a force in a sense because everybody has a sense of independence and they take initiative, they do a lot of things without being asked. Now, if I told myself, oh, I, was, I went through trauma, you know, I was, I, I was always thinking, no, I don't want my children to do anything. I don't want you to clean up your room. I don't want you to tidy up after you're done. I could get a nanny. I could get a cook. I can get people to do stuff for you. And then you find yourself out in the world at a time where there's no help. What do you do? Mm. How do you survive? Those skills or those morals, let me put it in that light, those morals helped me to be the person that I am today. 
it put discipline, it put self-control, it, 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 it helped you to be able to say no to yourself. Mm. So there's some places where you, or a point where you get to you say, you know what, I can't cross this line. Mm. However, now we have people or individuals, young people who don't even know if a line exists. Mm. There's no line, though. it's very blurry. <laughs> so over time, like I said, Things have been watered down due to people's experiences, due, due to their perception to life or worldview, per se, as they grew up, their background. Some of them who had negative experiences interpreted those experiences negatively and the results are what we're seeing now. Hmm. On, on the other hand, some others who had negative experiences interpreted it to their own good positively and channeled it positively and they're also getting results mm. so morals it's 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 something that now is a personal definition i decide what i want to call moral i decide where the uh, where, where i need to draw the line but well, it's always been there no matter it's no, been there, back to... like I said, but over time is water that it's yeah. become bad. Social media has a role to play, definitely, mm. because I, I didn't. I mean, it's been there, right? It's but social there. media helped to project these things in a light that was no longer, in the sense of the word, evil per se. Yeah. Permissible. Yeah. So now. The lines, so now you see something, you don't even bat an eyelid. Really, you blurry. don't even bat, there were things that you hear then, you'd be you, like, you, you cringe. cringe, you're like, wow, it's not possible. But now you don't even, you just keep it moving. <laughs> well, how did we get to that point, is the question. Ha, uh ha, -huh. question. <laughs> Lami, are you there now? <laughs> uh, I think we're having trouble. Okay, so I was going to say that. How you, because that was a question I was going to ask about, um, um, what's it called? I was going to ask about um, how we got there, you know. And I, I looked at, for instance, take for instance Kim Kardashian, how she rose to limelight, right? How she became the popular Kim Kardashian that everybody knows. I look at Donald Trump, right? His wife that he was, I mean, I mean, his uh, Melina Trump, you know, how she all her lifestyle and everything before they just packaged her to become the first lady of the United States. So when a young girl is saying that, and she says that, okay, I can do all the things I want to do and I can still become this person and all of that, what then happens? But you know what, we're going to go on a very short break. When we return, we'll continue the conversation. Stay with us. We'll be right back. <laughs> 